Hello and welcome to the Instructor S channel. I have an awesome video for you today. Today I'm going to paint the four planets that you're about to see on your screen. I'm going to walk you through step by step so you can learn how it is done. First things first, I'm going to paint a red, purple, and white planet. You've got to start with a base coat of red as you're about to see. Followed by the red, I'm going to throw some purple on my canvas. And then as promised, I'm going to put on some white as well. Once the canvas is covered in these three colors, I'm going to take some newspaper, crumble it up, and just start swiping. I'm going to swipe the bottom of the planet, swipe the top, and then, of course, can't forget the left corner. When a planet looks like it's in good shape, the next thing you do is go ahead and add some shadow. Shadow is going to be critical to making it look more three-dimensional when you're done with the painting. Once that's dry, I'm going to put my bowl on top, covering what will become the planet. The next step is going to be covering the canvas in black. As I'm doing this, I want to keep in mind that I want to make sure it's covered while also not trying to make my canvas swim in black paint. Once all said and done with that, of course, I've got to add some stars, so that's going to be my next step. Then, last but not least, got to add some shine to the upper left. Because our planet is red and white, those are the colors I want to add. So I added a first layer of red, followed by a layer of white, time for the reveal, and that looks fantastic. So that's the first planet we're going to walk through. Now let's go ahead and jump into the second planet. So this one's going to be done a little bit different. I'm going to add some patches of green, red, and orange onto my canvas. Then I'm going to take my newspaper and just pat it and spin it. Pat it and spin it. Pat it and spin it. This is going to give me a really cool effect where all the different colors on the canvas are going to start to merge and overlap. Once I start to like what I see, I'm going to add in some additional touch-ups. So I'm going to add some red back, some green back, and then of course some orange. Once I think that the planet's foundation is in good shape, I'm going to add some shadow. Again, gives that really cool effect once all said and done. Then I'm going to place my bowl in the center of the canvas, making sure that I'm covering some of that shadow. I'm going to cover the rest of the canvas in black, and then add in some stars. That looks really good. Once that's done, I want to go ahead and just add some streaks of the planet's colors in the sky. So I'm going to add a streak of orange, a streak of green, and then a streak of red. Finally, once that is complete, it is time for the reveal. And that looks fantastic. Now let's go ahead and jump into our third planet. So I'm going to use a slightly different technique for this planet. I'm going to start off by putting some purple streaks on the page, followed by some yellow, and then I'm going to add some blue on top of that. Now instead of using newspaper, I'm actually just going to swipe these colors back and forth. You'll see as these colors continue to blend, you're going to start to get a really cool effect that'll look great when we put our planet in place. Next step, of course, is to add our shadow, followed by putting our bowl on top. Once that's centered, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover the canvas in black. As I'm doing this, I'm keeping in mind that I want to make sure I cover the full canvas while not putting too much paint on it where I can cause any type of dripping. Once that's complete, I'm going to add some stars. And then last, I want to add a purple aura to my planet. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray some purple in the upper right portion of my planet. Time for the reveal. And that looks fantastic. Now, last but not least, this is going to be the simplest of the planets that I've painted so far. I'm going to paint a planet with a base of blue and a top of white. So I'm going to go ahead and in the center of my canvas, put down some blue, followed by a layer of white. Then I'm going to take my newspaper, crumple it up again, and then I'm going to use the swiping method for this planet as well. So I'm going to do some good swipes until I get the effect I like. Next, I'm going to do something I didn't do with the first planet, though. I'm going to crumple up my newspaper and just give some good dabs. This dual method will give a really cool effect that you're seeing here. Once that's all done, I'm going to add my shadow, followed by placing a bowl in the center of my canvas, covering a portion of that shadow. After that is complete, I'm going to cover the rest of the canvas in black, followed by adding on some stars. For the last step, I want to cover the portion of the planet that doesn't have the shadow with some shine. So I'm going to spray the side of the bowl with some white to get this cool effect. And that looks fantastic. I hope you learned something today. Don't forget to go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button to support the channel. Thanks for stopping by.